Gotta get back over to the balloonist and uh, prepare for the next part of our journey. I, I can't believe we are almost done with this game. It's It's been a long time. It, it, it feels like... <laughs> It's it's been a couple months since we started doing this. Yeah. And um, I'm just excited to, to wrap it up because the nasty Nork level is really wild. But first, we gotta get through Dreamweavers. <clears throat> is that the? No, no. I was thinking. I was like, is that the the one from fucking uh, Chira? No, it's a different name. <laughs> Weaver something. This this like hub oh. yeah, this hub world is very weird. Um Beaker? Yeah, they have like evil Beaker and who shrinks. The like object of this level is that there's like a laser that gets shot and it shrinks and grows the enemies. I see. Yeah. Th was this after Super Mario 64? I want to say yes. Well, even ignoring that, I guess it would have been after, like, World 8, where they have... Or World 7 in uh, Super Mario World, where they're... Yeah. Or whatever. Mario Brothers 3, mm -hmm. that's the one where everything's big. I do think it's interesting. <clears throat> interesting, I think, is the word that I would use. Where, you know, these, like, armored enemies... You can't kill them if they're big, but the non-armored enemies, you can kill them when they're either size, so it's not like they're more of a threat. They do the same amount mm -hmm. of damage. Man, those look really fucked. Yeah, they're like... Like, regardless of size, they just look fucked up. Yeah, they're good little gremlins. <clears throat> when they're small, they look like Olaf. They do, yeah. Ugh. So then you fly up here and you can actually confront the, the little bugger that's got the, the the gun. And I did also <laughs> ram up against it for some reason. I don't that was that was pretty messed up looking. I, I didn't like it. The Spire just had this weird look on his face when he was oh, doing it. Oh he was hating it. it. It's like a cat. Yeah. He is very cat like. So you have to shoot these guys. Ah. <clears throat> There's some other stuff over there, so you know, I don't want to... Can't miss that. Gotta get all the treasure. Hmm. That is taken care of. Zikomo. Hello, Spyro. Hey. Nicely done. Thanks. I'll be done when I've toasted that nasty Nork. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. I guess it's true. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Just. Do they have like little fairy wings? They do. That's weird. <laughs> Well, that's what happens in Dreamweavers, I guess. Are these the same race as the Save Fairy? Maybe. Maybe they're, like, corrupted or something. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, now here we go. Here's probably the thing that's used the most in Dreamweavers are these little jester men. The game just calls them fools. <laughs> they call them fools. The fools you see in this world are invisible, but that does not mean they shouldn't be attacked. Sounds all right to me. Whoa! <laughs> Just wear a shirt that says, even if the fools are invisible, you should still attack them. <laughs> or not invisible, invincible. But yeah, when you attack them... Uh, they get a timer? They get a little timer, and usually it is usually something to do with a, like one of those like rotating towers. And I was an idiot. I don't know what I was trying to do right there, but yeah, you just, it drops down for a second. There you go. The physics act up a little bit when that happens, but it's fine. It doesn't, like, do anything broken or anything. It just feels kind of weird, because you're... Spyro, like, does, it, it doesn't feel like Spyro moves when he's going up. Like, it feels like the, 
the floor is like jamming up against him mm-hmm. like his 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 model is trying to stay flat but then the floor moves him up and it's just like and I, I can't really describe it but it is it is very strange and it, it feels weird when you're playing the game like i'm sure if you're looking at it it doesn't really come across but yeah don't worry everyone we got more fools Why aren't the fools present in future Spyro releases? They're afraid. The was Enter the Enter the Dragonfly, was that the one that brought back Nasty Nork? I don't remember off the top of my head. I maybe. Also, oh boy, I almost I almost made a boo-boo there, but yeah, there is there is one more flying level in this uh, game. Icy flight sounds horrible. Well, <laughs> they all sound horrible. I guess you just hear flight in this game, and it's like, eh. it's like oh. shiver runs down your spine. No, Latif. Welcome to the Dreamweavers, young. While chasing Nasty's minions in this world, you must expect the unexpected and prepare for what is not there. That's not really that true, but okay. He thinks he's fucking deep. Yeah, he's, he's not. It's just, you know, they're, they're there. His advice just amounted to, like, so watch out. <laughs> There's some guys here. Watch out. <laughs> Yeah, like, that's basically what he did, but he did it all, like, hoity-toity. Yeah. I mean, that's just how all these dragons are. Ugh. I don't like this. And we're enabling them by saving them. I guess so. You'd think they would have some hubris about being changed into statues. No, not at all. So, if I wanted to, I could actually just leave and go straight to Nasty's world, but... <laughs> I'm not going to do that. So is it based on overall completion? Is that what it is? Yeah, like, it's just based on, okay. like, you know, like, having enough... Like, e each balloonist has a different gate. Like, some of them are like, oh, you have to capture or free this many dragons. Oh, you have to get this much treasure. But, yeah, this one is just treasure. And, oh, oh, I found I it, but at what cost? Yeah, I don't like that at all. That was my own fault. Oh, so you don't have to go over there that way? No, you don't. Okay, thank God. I was going to say, I would, like, freak out. This realm does have... Now, okay. Treetops is probably the most difficult level in this game. But this realm has maybe the weirdest jump in the entire game. Um, I'll... You, you'll know it when you see it. 100%. Okay. So, okay, we got everything in, in the home world. So we can just uh, go ahead. I really don't know why I didn't just go to that one right there, but you know what? That's. <laughs> he didn't like it. It didn't feel right. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta do it in order, I guess. Okay. For a second, I legitimately thought that that platform was shaped like a, a dick, but it's okay. There's another <laughs> part to it. If it didn't have that other part to it, it would legitimately just look like one, but... This is one of the bigger levels in the game. Dark Passage. Uh, it's got a... It's, it's got a full gimmick. Whoa. But, yeah, it's... It's it's also tied to the large and small of the home world, where it's just like, oh yeah, here's all these, like, tiny enemies that grow big when there's not light on them. Of course, you can't, you can't hurt the shielded enemies. The enemies here can be quite frightening, but you should watch the fools. I'd rather blame the fools. Now you're thinking. Now you're thinking. Uh. <laughs> Flame the fools! Uh. 
Those I don't like those ones. Devils that shoot arrows at you. They just look horny. They do kind of look horny, yeah. They have that, like, grin to them. Yeah. Yeah, again, you know, like, I, I feel like this is very much like preying on young children just thinking they're in more danger than they would be because they're bigger enemies. Because, like, yeah. You're, uh, well, praying makes it sound like inherently <laughs> evil. It's just, you know, it, it, it makes sense in theory. It's just like, yeah, you know, they're. Whoa! Oh! Oh! He just got comboed by that turtle. I did get com Oh god, I'm, I'm like getting comboed all over the place in this level for some reason. Are those supposed to be dogs? I guess. They see, they look like kind of fucked up. I'll have to look at them again, I guess, next time. Yeah, see, so there's been plenty of them. Thank you for releasing me. Alright. <laughs> I love when they just say that. <laughs> Same voice. Thank you for releasing me. I'm not gonna pretend I'm smart like the other guys. Yeah. They I have a have little like... bit of humbleness in my body. I'm just gonna thank you and leave. <laughs> they have like fucked up tails. Like watch when they're tiny. They do, like, yeah. They have like really fucked up like long they have like panther tails. Mm. I hate those turtles. And a turtle that has a metal shell? What is this? Come on. What do they turn? They turn into like Godzilla? More like Gamera, kind of. Oh. I'd say they look more like Gamera when they're like normal. Maybe. Like they just like when they're on like two feet, it looks fucked up. Yeah. God. Oh. Oh. Look at that! Give me a, give me a butterfly for my trouble at least. I hate that they can aim up high and shit. Yeah. Bakari. You know, I think you just might be the dragon to defeat Nasty Nork. That's me, all right. Yeah. So I want to hear Spyro. So you're looking around, you're thinking, huh? That wasn't that long. This is maybe a third of the level. Oh my god, they just yeah. let you leave? So yeah, you can leave right now, and you would miss, like, two-thirds of this level. So, yeah, so you're looking around, you're like, oh, there's all this, and then wait a minute. What's that down there? A whole lot more of this level. Make maneuvers here. <laughs> Bobbing and weaving. I appreciate that they're very consistent with their, like, um. Like, letting you go back to old zones and stuff, like, making the shortcut, uh, currents up and stuff like that in mm -hmm. this game. Like, because so many games during this time, and even I would say later, uh, don't do stuff like that. Absolutely. I also really like in this level how they let you see all the different places that you're gonna go, and it's just like, huh, how am I gonna end up there? And then you just kind of end up there, and it's like, oh wow, okay. That was really scary what you just did. <laughs> like, Spyro didn't even, like, flinch. He just killed, no? like, all those dogs consecutively. He doesn't care. If, if I'm, you know what? I'm glad that they made that uh, that Spyro game where he has to reckon with himself or whatever, the, the edgy one. <laughs> because he, he's yeah. done enough damage. The, man, Fight Club fucked a lot of shit up, huh? <laughs> like, I, I think, like, I'm <laughs> thinking about this, like, I don't know if it's specifically Fight Club, but that sort of, like, <laughs> thing, like, really fucked a lot of people up in the early 2000s. I guess so. Too many people rewatched that movie and they were just like, oh shit. What if we're taking for granted 
Uh, what if that little purple dragon was uh, had to atone for his crimes against humanity? Or against isn't dogs? the things you're doing in the game a little twisted? They are. I think about it. Thanks, Spyro. I'd love to help you catch Nasty, but I'd really hate being trapped in Crystal again. Don't worry. The only one who's going to be trapped is him. Uh, what? I don't know. Prison, maybe? I thought he killed them. Well, no, he puts him in prison because otherwise he can't appear in the later game. I know he's in one of the later games because, he like... He definitely is. I just don't remember which yeah, one. I, I think I, it I, was Enter the Dragonfly because that was supposed to be, like, a reboot or something. Like, a soft one. Maybe, because I, I think I, I think that might be it, because I think that was, like, one where, like, him and Ripto, like, team up. Now that you say that, I think that's exactly it. Yeah, I think, I'm pretty sure that's what happens, because... Because I think they, like, full-on kill the, like, witch from the third game. She doesn't show up again. The witch? I don't yeah, there's, like, a, witch. there's, like, a witch in the third one. Not Bianca? B Bianca's like her minion. Thank right. you for releasing me. And then at the end of the game, she becomes Spyro's friend. And uh, I think she shows up in Enter the Dragonfly. It's it's worse than Enter the Dragonfly. Is it? It's a uh, fucking. Uh, you are right that they team up, but it's in fucking uh, a hero's tale. Oh boy. Wasn't that one of the David Spade ones? No, that was not. That was right before it. Oh. God. It's. It's. It. All star cast of Spyro. Yeah. Hunter. Yeah. Sergeant James Bird. And yeah. New character, Blink. Blink the Mole. Uh huh. Like, I. Uh, huh. All right. Well, uh, Nasty Nork tried to destroy the Dark Gems. The Dark Gems? Yeah. Alright. Uh, or no, Spyro's trying to... Okay, whatever. I don't even know. What the hell? Yeah. Look, we freed all the dragons. We got all the treasure. That's that level done. Big ol' level. We're done with it. We're going home.